Hello. Have a look at this. Look at that for an overland vehicle. That, I'm not even joking, is mega. That is just sweet as. So anyway, hello everyone. That'd be a dream, I would. Get it kitted and I'd be gone. Um, Russia. I'd love to do Russia or something like that. That would be absolutely... Be nice to park up in here for the summer. Nice canal. Still got boats going up and down, I believe. Yeah, as I was saying, um, overlanding like that, oh, I'd love it. Especially like Scandinavia, Norway, all them type of countries. Not really into the hot countries. But that, oh, sweet. I actually just sent a picture of it to my mate. Right. So we picked up uh, eight Takuchis, all brand new. Proper game of Jenga on this one to get them all to fit. But we did it. We did do it. I'm impressed with that. I'm very impressed with that. See what I mean? I have a lot of room. Right, let's go and uh, get these to their uh, customer. Every time I come here, yeah. this beautiful young lady brings me one of these. Boys and girls, new trailer, what do you reckon? Expecting a lunatic will um, get me a new trailer. Nice and light, alley ramps, perfect. She's absolutely sweet as. Hang on. How old is she? What year is it on? The salesman doesn't know what year it's on. Bless him. That'd be nice. That is, um, she's a little sweetie, done very little work. Uh, she's up for sale in J.D. Davis. J. Davis and Sons. And I thought it would have been sold by now, but it hadn't. She's still here. <coughs> Plenty of hooks all the way underneath. Four ramps. problem I have some of the work I do with my trailer I'm very heavy I'm 22 ton plus fat so a little lighter trailer wouldn't go amiss and have a look at this little peach as well 650 manual twin hydraulic lines don't tell my boss but I'd probably swap mine for that What's this one going for? <laughs> She's a right little peach. Eight. She played it for 80. 
complete the treaty turn as well. She's a lovely girl. One of our old ones still over there. Anyone in the market for a tipper? She's a peach. Yeah, so she's technically a unicorn because she's manual. Right, us roller, tractor. Come for the tractor further up, but I'm not going to because we ain't gonna be coming down the old Welsh roads. Um, there's a lot of low-lying low trees and stuff. So yesterday I was in Cornwall with rain, which was absolutely diabolical. And now I'm in a beautiful, stunning little place called um, Aberavon. Beautiful, look at that. You can't get better than that, can you? Absolutely breathtaking here. I can't get up on a bank in to show you. Let's see if I can find a bank in. Can I get up somewhere? That's better. We're sitting the tractor. That's beautiful out there. There was this big, big sea defence project going on, yeah? There's there actually um, people's houses, but they stunning down here. Nice calm sea. Yes, yeah, so we've got a nice calm sea. Beautiful. Bit of a bugger to get out here, especially when you're heavy. So we're gonna make our way back. Right, see the barge out by there. Yeah. This is mental. It's a big sea defense going out by there. That barge is from Norway. Oh, I'm blocking the road a minute. One second. Anyway, sorry about it. pull forward, it's blocking a lorry. So that's from Norway, that um, barge. It took a, a week to get here from Norway. Now, I'm just talking to the guy because I like these big infrastructure projects. It, it, I just love it. He's doing a test load of a thousand tonne of stone to go out in that area by there. And I said, why is it coming from Norway? He said, well, it's cheaper. Pardon? It's cheaper. So they're gonna have 150,000 ton of stone coming from Norway to here, tip, go back to Norway. How, how, how can I be cheaper? You're telling me we haven't got a quarry somewhere in the UK where they could load a boat and bring it down. I don't, honestly can't believe that. That has absolutely just blown my mind. <laughs> uh, before my phone went off the other day, two days ago, um, there, that those tugs are going to be running from Norway to Aberavon, Aber Aber uh for the next, what do they say? basically nine to ten months or something like that some best part of a year they're gonna be running back for Norway to deliver stone that that completely has blown my mind that has but it's cheaper apparently how I I do not know it's bound to be a quarry somewhere close in the UK um, to the water where they could do a similar thing I don't know anyway I'm on a job which blows my mind again um i'm in newport uh, sorry cardiff no sorry newport um i'm on a um, um i'm on a, a, a large um it, right the place i'm at is they're gonna they do a lot of computer stuff right and Microsoft is the company doing it, or I've bought the area, the the, the old factory and that. Right, so money is no object. There's loads of work going on, yeah, or will be anyway eventually. But I can't tip, can't tip off the machine I got and pick up the other machine, because they're all sat in a briefing. What do they call them? Toolbox talks or some crap like that. Um, when I would just looked in the canteen there, their the briefing room, canteen, there's probably about 30 blokes sat in there. They're going to be in there for an hour. Wonderful. So you're paying 30 blokes to sit there with their thumb up their backside, uh, listening to somebody who 
pretty much I'll guarantee has no understanding of the job anyway. It's probably about 12. And now you've got lorries and deliveries just sat outside waiting. Because there is a few other deliveries here that are over the other side and there's a couple up on the back. It, it baffles me how these big, big projects um, how these big projects are run. What happened to using just a good old fashioned bit of uh, common sense, you know? Here's an idea, boys. Don't trap your fingers. Don't fall over. Don't be a dick. That works, doesn't it? <sighs> this peeves me off, this does. But yet, I've come on site. They haven't said booba anything to me. I can see the machine I want, because it's a 30 ton dumper. I'm dropping off a tele handler. I could literally have them on and off in 20 minutes. But no, we must wait until the grown ups have decided to f let the children run riot. I'll stop complaining now, shall I? Uh, I'm going to buy a little day today. Um, what I got? I got a. I can't even remember what I got on. Oh God! Oh. Yeah, it's a big old place. This is. Some people will definitely know where I am. Um, yeah, there's a lot of um, tech firms have bought up the old buildings around here because they're big, 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 big warehouses and stuff. And they, um, yeah, put in um, basically servers and stuff in there for what do they call them? I can't remember. Yeah, so he said, so money's no object, so they can just sit there and burn through money and yet hold everyone up with not a care in the world. And I mean not a care in the world. Right, I'm going to stop complaining. And it's miserable today. It was beautiful yesterday and the day before. And I was just damn right miserable, I think. Um, it's going to actually peer down again. Yay. Uh, good morning, people. It's very cold compared to what it was the other day. I'm not even supposed to be at work today, I should be off, but can anyone spot the problem? Yeah. So, I'm not sure how that has happened. We didn't see it. You probably won't see it by there, but nasty little bulge. I don't think the tyre has been caught, so... Anyway, that's got to be changed. Uh, <coughs> I'm supposed to be off this afternoon. I was going to have the whole day off, but needs must, I'm afraid, needs must. So we're going to come in, we're going to do a little bit of maintenance on the trailer. Well, a light on a, on a tyre, and then uh, we're going to give the girl a good proper bath. Right, this one's got to come off. It's knackered. Doing the workshop nice and warm. What have I done with it? Always take the valves off first, which is uh, terrible. Obviously, holds the valve up against there nice and tight. Stop the valve flapping around and um, shearing. Ooh, the message I might have been waiting for. That's right. Um, Yeah. Um, what's, what's that on 18? Um, anyway, um, yeah, so change this. I got a head full of um, raging rhinos this morning. Um, yeah, my mind's working a million miles an hour. So, do you want to see how we swap a tyre? I didn't show you this. There's our jack, which will go under. Do, 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 on the other side, under there, roadside. If John hits my lorry, I will kill him.
I've showed you this before, but you shouldn't really do it. So, if you pop that, can't quite see it, under there with a the block. When you lift the air up, when you lift the air up, it'll jack the axle up at the same time. Don't do it when you're loaded. Don't do it at all. I never showed you that. But it will get you out of trouble if you're stuck. Um, which it has with me a few times in all fairness. And there she goes, look. She is off. Good tire as well, man. Eesh. There's another 10 months on it. Balls. But, kind of think about it. It has to go. See? Let's get the spare on. Put the spare one on, and I would have said there'll be a new tire here. Might be by the end of the day, so we'll be good for next week then. I gotta be fair, you when you order something, if you need it, there's no messing around. It's, it's like literally bump, it's there on the button, which you can't fault. Oh, you swore, but you can't fault. Can't find a tire depth gauge. So we're gonna do a technical pop that in here. You see there? It's not bad. Um, actually, and a couple of mil that is either side, so that'll be fine. If your tyres are not matched either side, uh, you'll basically just wear the tyre out to death. So try and match the depth of the tyres so they're equally the same. I'm gonna quickly clean all this off, wire brush jobby. Oh, 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 oh. Make sure we've got no um no crap in here basically. <laughs> If all happens, <laughs> if you've got crap in between the wheels, when you do a map, the crap leaves a little space, and that's where the wheel comes loose. wrench or some people call them snap bar on the top see that I'll give you your Newton meters of what the wheel nuts need to be always check it if you don't know it look in the idiot's book I'm sure it'll tell you something I hate doing this Enough, she should snap. That way, can't overtake them. Would you like to see what's in Russell's magic box? That's enough. <laughs> um, for reasons unbeknown, for reasons unbeknown to me, this light on here. It's constantly going the brake light all the time. There's um, moisture again in the light. I don't know how, but I think it's going to have to be changed out. So we're going to change it again. So it seems we've got five minutes. We'll get everything up to spec because we've got an early start Monday. Uh, I think we're going to call more Monday with a 25 tonner. So, yeah, so little sets like these, all right, they'll get you out of trouble. Now, you, you can pick them up for a couple of quid, nothing fancy. It's literally just to get you out of trouble if something goes wrong. Some snips, you know, plugs, a couple of extra bulbs. I know I know most um, stuff now with LED, but there's no harm in carrying them. I think that little set that only cost me like 
I don't know. Well, eight quid. And I've added donkeys here. Plenty of bungees. Bungees, not bungees, sorry. Um, zip ties. Zip ties, gaffer tape. Ah, oh, well, that might be why then. Okay. That's rattled loose. Bugger. Hmm, a little bugger. With the power of this key. And. Yay! Indicator? No, hang on. Ah! That is a brilliant little invention. Turn them off, turn off, okay. What a cracking little invention they are. There, see, I think it's, oh, it's yeah, a bit of moisture in it. That bottle, that bottle will be rattled loose though. Hmm. So, Russ is, oh, might look a bit scary that close. Russ is bag, right? So, some spanners, obviously. Little socket set in there. Um, what else we got in here? Um, an abundance of zip ties. You can't fix it with a zip tie, then they can't be fixed. Um, some sockets, some more array of spanners, adjustable hair lines, um, bungees, um, some wire snips. What else we've got in here? That a f uh, fencing spanner is a godsend in my job. Yeah, so just an array of things like that. Um, I got a box of fuses in the lorry, and like I said, some gaffer tape. But it all helps to get you out the trouble. Um, it's in a little bag. Right, let's get this out. Let's get this washed, and let's get out. Yeah. Uh, This truck really don't have the TLC she deserves, unfortunately. Um, oh, look how stinking. Oh, look, grease off the fifth wheel. Ah! So, a TFR. Yes, TFR. It's done. I've got a 60 40 mix. Let that soak in now. Steam all this off. I was hoping to do the trailer. I, I haven't got time. All right, try again. Oh, hang on. Yeah, try again. Um, I was going to wash a trailer. I ain't going to have time to do it. Uh, this is my new camera, so I don't know how this is going to come out. This could all be really bad. I don't know. So we're literally going to find out. Um, yeah, so... Uh, if I can remember how to do... Hmm. Shooting in progress, do not... Right, okay. So I know that. I know it's shooting it. Right. Yeah! Right, so how do I do a... Hmm, how do I do this? Bear with me, people. Ah, there. Right, so... I'll let that soak in a little bit now. Um, this truck, like I said, just doesn't have the TLC she deserves. She deserves so much more, you know what I mean? Um, I would like to do a couple of shows this year if I can. But it's, it's uh, time pending. So we're going to steam this off. Ooh, that's clever, isn't it? That's really nifty, that is. We're going to steam this off. I got my, um, I should give it a proper snow foam, shouldn't I? Right. We'll have to have a look. I brought it with me to do it as well, so. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get this washed. Right, that's how quickly steamed off here now. Like I said, I wasn't, um... Shiny, look how shiny she is. I wasn't going to give it a, a full shamanka, but... Seems the wash was in the car. Um, where is it? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I'm really liking this new camera. I gotta be honest. This stuff is the absolute ultra moose. Oh.
yeah, it's um, lovely. Tire fitter just turned up. Tunes blaring. I probably have to get bloody what do they call a thing now on one of the channels. I have to delete the music. Well, there you have it, boys and girls. She's all pretty. She is a sweetie. Uh, tire fit the man here already. Look, to do my uh, do my tire. Can't fault that. So yeah, there she is in all her glory. Um, yeah, I don't. If I press, yeah. Um, I don't know how this one's going to come out with this new camera. I'm hoping it's going to be pretty good. I've seen people using them and they are really good. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Catch you on the next one. Oh, that's just sexy. I can sit and look at that for hours.